I'm Imogen for Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with Rachel Paris, who has a show called The Commission on the Free Fringe this year. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for having me. No problem. So you ha you've just come from your show now. Yes. Yeah, it's every day and I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice to do an interview straight off the back of it. So, because you're buzzing from coming off the show. Yeah, exactly. So, how has it been going so far? How are the audience reacting? It's been really nice, actually. I was just telling you, like, it's my first hour, the fringe. I've been coming for eight years, but I've always done like shared hours or drama instead of comedy. So, I didn't have any idea what to expect. Um, and you hear some like nightmare stories <laughs> about like playing to three people and things like yeah. that. But it's been really nice, more or less, most of the time. Like, good audiences and everyone seems to really enjoy it. So yeah, it's been nice. So can you tell us a little bit about the show and the premise? Why is it called The Commissioner? Yes, I can. So it's all about me as a musician and a songwriter, um, how I get commissioned by like TV companies and education boards and record labels, things like that, to write songs for very particular purposes. Um, some of it's true, some of it's not true. Mm -hmm. uh, but for example, I talk about writing an X Factor song for Simon Cowell, writing a song for Rihanna, um, but also writing songs for friends. And mm -hmm. so there's a bit of a love story in there as well about being asked to write a friend's song for their wedding. So where do you get your inspiration for your songs? How do you sit down and do you think of a funny story you've heard or personal moments? Um, it really varies. Um, a lot. Sometimes, yeah, you hear like a phrase or something um, that makes you. I do a song called Tepid, called the chorus goes, My feelings for you are tepid, but tepid is better than hate. Um, and that was sort of inspired by another love song that I heard that just sounded really un. It, it wasn't meant to be funny, but it was so lacking in like any passion or love. <laughs> I thought it'd be quite funny to do like a tepid love song. Sometimes um, I think of a topic that would fit with the stand-up that I'm doing mm. um, like I've got some material about children and like what is friends having children and, and that as a new thing in your life and so I knew I wanted to write a song about children so sometimes you just sit down and make yourself do it bash it out bash it out bash it out <laughs> the piano. Yeah. how are you finding performing on the free fringe what's that like great and um, I've done it actually for quite a few years yeah. the free fringe and so I, I think it's a brilliant venture yeah. and so good for getting people who can't afford any other way which is most people <laughs> um, if you haven't got a massive company behind you um, and it just is great for the performers you get to make money of the donations at the end yeah. it's great for the audience they can just give what they think the show is worth um, it is like yeah it's a really nice experience so what's been your best moment on the fringe so far we're halfway through oh so many good ones um, well, I'm also in a show called Ostentatious, which is um, improvised Jane Austen comedy. What? Um, it's really fun. <laughs> Check amazing. it out. Do yeah. come along. It's really fun. It's in like full cost, like Jane Austen costume, and we get a suggestion of a title every day of a, a made-up Jane Austen novel. So we've had like, we've just had some great ones of those. Um, we've had like Double O Darcy, <laughs> uh, Strictly Come Darcy. Um, what was today? Lots of Darcy. Lots of People like Darcy. Lots of Darcy. <laughs> Um, and today, what was today's one? Oh, yeah, it could have gone bad. It was sex and sexuality, <laughs> um, but it was great. That's it was about very sexual good awakenings. Um, but all of all of that, I do it at one thirty before my show every day. It has been wonderful. I work with this amazing group of people, and it's such a privilege to do that. It's it's awesome. So where and when can we catch your show? Yes, it is four o'clock at the Counting House, uh, which is on West Nicholson Street, just near. Bristow Square and the BBC bit. Um, ostentatious? ostentatious is 1.30 in exactly the same room and space oh, wow. at the Counting House. I did it on purpose, so it was really convenient for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can see it's both the Counting House is the hub of where it's all at. Wicked. Thank you so much for chatting to Thank me. You. I've been Imogen for Waffle TV.